Hey guys, welcome back. Luca here. Today I want to talk about do I think software engineer salary will decrease? I do believe that right now we have a high supply of number of software engineers and the market can be considered oversaturated as all of these bigger tech companies are starting to lay off people. And one of the bigger driving force for all these layoffs is because they don't have enough work. And many of these layoffs aren't solely due to the economy being very, very bad because a lot of these companies are still reporting a massive earning. But the underlying issue is the fact that a lot of these bigger tech companies had some of these features, some of these new projects that they thought it was going to be popular because of the pandemic are no longer the case. So there has been a lot of overhiring and now a lot of opportunities. And as a result, there has been many rounds of layoff, especially at these bigger tech companies. A lot of these bigger tech companies are also cutting back on the remote opportunities, cutting back on some of the perks such as when to serve lunch, when to serve dinner. A perfect example would be nowadays, meal times are more strict. For example, a lot of companies have breakfast at 7 or 8 a.m. all the way to 9 or 10-ish. And then many companies have lunch around 12 o'clock to like 2 o'clock. And dinner is not until 6 p.m. and after. So this way, you can really see like a lot of these emphasis on keeping the employee at the company for a longer period of time. Sure, like the perk is still there, but the option you can clearly see it's a lot less. And if you follow news, you can also see like a lot of these bigger tech companies are also cutting back on remote perks. Also software upgrade potentials or they take a very random perks such as laundry service or some of the other ones that you know really made them unique to attract some of these employees. So we can clearly see a lot of these goals that the table has indeed turned. And we can clearly see they're also cutting a lot of entertainment budgets. So before they used to have a team offsite budgets, like they're encouraged the employee to have some sort of offsite opportunities to come in person because a lot of the teams are distributed and there are a lot of employees who are remote working. And now a lot of the travel opportunities also cut. So that's another round of perks cutting. And now is where it gets interesting because there has been so many rounds of layoff and there's a huge surplus of software engineer that's available right now. Many other companies who are looking for software engineers now have the opportunity to hire some of these experienced people from a bigger tech company. And a lot of them are willing to take a pay cut to work at these smaller companies that once again drives down the overall average of a lot of these software engineering roles. So in the future, I do think as more and more people pick up computer science and computer science for me, it's something that eventually everyone probably have to know. And because that's the case, a supply and oversaturation continues. I do believe if the trend continues, it could lead to the overall software engineering salary being less lucrative. And of course, one of the reasons that triggered this oversaturation is the fact that software engineering was something that many people can easily pick up. And in a lot of cases, you don't have to have relevant experience to even become a software engineer. And because of that, there has been so many people who can switch into software engineering, knowing that it's a very lucrative field. And once again, history tells us when something becomes oversaturated, we will have to be meeting in the middle somehow. So eventually, I do think software engineering won't be getting paid as much, especially with all these applied AI technologies. And don't get me wrong, a lot of these fields will still be paying really, really well in comparison to some of the other fields for at least the next decade. It won't just go away overnight. So that's something like I'm not really worried about. But in the long term, if you're gonna think about starting software engineering in maybe 10 years or so, then that might be a complete different field because by then the GPT technology will be even better. And I do think a lot of these technology will replace a lot of the entry level roles because now you have to know how to use it. So maybe right now what we think as an entry level role will be different for, from what's an entry level in the future. So I do think there can be a huge shift in dynamic. So yeah, overall, I think software engineers will continue to see at least some sort of per cut, salary, staggering and the uh, overall average dropping just because of these layoffs and people taking on a lesser paid job because fame bigger tax aren't hiring and that will be the case i think for at least the foreseeable future so yeah that's uh that's my prediction and that's what i'm thinking so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know if you have any questions i will see you guys next time